Hey, guess what, guys? We're gonna do something epic today. That's right, guys. We are playing Luigi's... Luigi's Casino, dude! Yeah! Luigi's fucking casino. One of the best games of all time. Yes, I am not I am not crazy. We are actually playing this today. <laughs> so everybody knows how amazing Luigi's casino games are. And I'm gonna play the best one. The one that everybody played. So yeah. Let's see how good I am at gambling. Yeah, get, get fucked, Luigi. You suck. <laughs> Anyways, this is this is a funny idea that I had in my head. You'll never guess where I got the idea from. But I was in the shower today. And I was listening to this music and I was like, you know what? I want to play Luigi's Casino game. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. You might be wondering... What's the point of playing Luigi, the Luigi Casino game, huh? Well, the point is to get 9,000 coins. Yes, the Linguini game. We're going to attempt to get 9,000 coins in this game. And this is going to be a series. This is going to be a series. We're going to try and get Linguini. To, we're going to try and beat Linguini that many times. Thanks, Linguini. Yeah, I remember I played this game a, a shit ton as a kid. And I remember I would always, um... I would always, like, bet a lot every time. And I fucked up. No, oh, Linguini stole my money, dude. No, Linguini, how could you? Looks like a good pair already. Damn it. There be a good one. Fuck. Luigi beat my ass again. I love gambling, guys. I love game. Yeah, I love gambling. Damn it, he gave me the exact same one back, bruh. Linguini, what's good with you? He's still- he's robbing me, bro! He's robbing all my money! Yeah, I am constantly upgrade, uploading Path of Radiance on YouTube. Thanks for noticing. Yeet. Fuck. Well, he's gonna keep beating my ass at, at frickin' casino- uh, The frickin' casino game, bro. Um... Yeah, just get rid of all those. I got a two pair again. Never mind, Linguini beat me at the game. Can't believe it. Yeah, I am pretty proud of that. Sorry, it looks like a good match here. Mario! Anyways, um, I need some fun conversation topics. Well, what would be a good conversation topic? I'm not too sure, honestly. Ooh, I got two linguinis. Oh, he beat me. Luigi's, Luigi's cheating, bro. I swear to God. I can't believe Luigi. I can't believe Luigi would cheat at poker. <laughs> Well, that has to win. I got a full house, dude. <laughs> oh, the weekends I've been drawing. Oh, you draw now? You know, let's see what kind of bullshit I get. That's not good. Luigi, you dicked me over again. I can't believe he'd do that. Well, you know what? Everybody can be a talented artist. 
if they put their mind to it. I used to do drawing. I kind of got bored of it. But you can do that. I mean, I think the last time I drew was like... I don't know, I want to say it was like... I, mean, I don't know. I, I, when, I, when I mean that, I, I feel like drawing seriously, you know? I, I'm like, I'm drawing on a regular basis. If I ever draw these days, it's probably for like a one-off situation. Usually it'd be for like something very special. Like a very special occasion, you know? That's usually what it'd be for. But nowadays, I don't really do that, to be honest. Aw, oh, three of a kind Mario. That's what you did, it was for a special occasion. Ooh, three of a kind flower. Yeah, I, I used to draw a lot back in the Amino days. I used to draw, like, Smash Bros. characters. I thought I was gonna do, like, um, you know, a, I, I thought I was gonna do something like, uh, what do you call it? Also, that's not gonna win. <laughs> I was gonna do, like, one of those, like, draw a character every day kind of things, you know? I thought I was gonna do something like that. Never ended up doing that. Okay, that's not gonna win, that's for sure. Mmm. Hit it. Hit the bricks, Luigi, as my mom would always say. <laughs> whenever she want whenever she tells someone to get lost. She always says, hit the bricks. <laughs> yeah. Looks like a pretty good one to me. Luigi! Damn it, Luigi. See, now, I don't remember what my star counter was for this game. Yeah. But, um... Hmm. Ooh, a full house. I don't remember what my high score for the star was in this game. Because I did own this game. I owned both versions. I had the version for the Mario 64 DS. And I also had the version with, um... Uh, what you call it? I had the version with New Super Mario Bros. as well. Because they basically pre-packaged the same game twice. So, I ended up spending a lot of time with this game. I think I spent more time with the new Super Mario Bros. one. I think. Something like that. Oh, wow. I got a better full house than you. Oh, I see how the full house works. It's based on the one that's three of a kind. Hit it. Whoop. Dang. See, I'm kind of beating Luigi. That time I didn't beat Luigi. Jose's taking inspiration, apparently. Okay, I won again. Well, plus, I wanted to play this because I love the music from it. The mu Luigi's Casino music is great. <laughs> so classic. Wow. Luigi's fucking cheating, dude. Sure, you can show the results. Um, I wonder how impressed I'm gonna be. I guess we'll find out. That is not gonna win. Unless Luigi gets junk. Nope, we got three of a kind. 
Luigi's robbing me again. Yeah. Less likely. Yeah, I save a kind of flower again. Actually, I just realized something. It says Mario 64 DS there. Did they change? Did they change the graphics in the new in the new super in the new soup version? Makes me wonder, honestly. You th you think I would notice something like that? But I don't know. I never did. Hard to say. Anyways, uh, Zeppi said grinding makes him happy. <laughs> I am pretty tough to impress because I look at art every day on Pixiv, and, you know, that's the kind of shit I expect to see. And if I don't see that, you know, I'm obviously gonna be a bit not impressed. to impress me. Yeah. Come on, give me something good, Luigi. Yeah! Yeah! Well, like Captain Falcon. Yeah. Are you also hard to impress? Let's see if I got anything good. Oh no! Oh no! He robbed me again. Yeah. Mm. Give me something good, Luigi. That is not good. That is not his good. He's gonna keep robbing me. Yeah. Can't believe really he's gonna keep robbing me, dude. It's a sad day to be a Minus Rose fan. Yeah. about everything. Ooh, I got another full house. Honestly, it's keeping your money up is not the hard part. It's actually getting a consistent win streak. That's the hard part. You can barely get a good win streak. Wow. Wow, he got four of a kind. Luigi is a cheating bastard. I haven't gotten four of a kind yet. Dang, Luigi, come on, man. Yeah. Now we've been through a lot together. Yeah. They like the potato boobs. Yeah. Plus, I love doing things times five, because that means you get a consistent number every time. Like, you get a nice round five numbers. You get 30. With eight, eight times five, you'd get like 40, you know? Yeah. And I've never gone a five of a kind before. That shit is rare as hell. Same with the four of a kind. I almost never get that either. Yeah. To be honest, I should probably lower the game volume. It's kind of loud. Yeah. So, you know, the original plan was I was gonna put music over this, right? You know, I got a stupid idea. Let's throw all these out. Wow. Bad idea. I wanted to play music over this, but I couldn't exactly find a code that disables the music. Honestly, I'm kind of SOL when it comes to that. Yeah, you won. Good job. So we're just going to listen to Luigi's jamming OST, you know? Oh, no, he beat my ass again. 
are the actual odds of getting a four of a kind? Because I really don't know. Well, definitely not there, that's for sure. He beat me again, bro. I can't believe I keep, keep, I keep letting myself get robbed by Luigi, dude. What's wrong with doing Luigi? Star always wins. Dang. Double dang. I keep being robbed, dude. One thing I am really happy about, though, is that I've consistently been on top of all my thumbnails recently. Which means that... I never have to worry about thumbnails because I'm always on top of them. Like I'll, I'll do a video and then I'll immediately go back to um, doing a thumbnail and then I'll finish it. I believe there's a, a full mythology on how to win in this game based off of Toad. Was that from the relax relax video? Didn't he talk about that? I mean, I re okay, well now that I think about it, I do remember that video. <laughs> to, wish the to wish to say, the game is very rigged, regardless. Yeah, I don't know, I was, I was always able to play this game for like, hours at a time, and I got like the same shit that I just got. <laughs> I would like a four of a kind eventually. I'm not waiting around for Toad's stupid ass though to get a good to get a good uh you know hand. Wow. He fucking did it again. See, regardless of how rigged this game is, it's always fun because you know Luigi's such a lovable guy. You know, look at him. He's just here to ha he's just here to be happy and play his game with you. <laughs> and get full houses when you don't have that. The best way I can sum this minigame up is that one Austin Powers quote, where he says he likes to live dangerously. I also like to live dangerously. Best way I can sum this minigame up, honestly. No matter how many loses you get, though, you're always bound to make your money back in some way. Which is why it's always worth it. Wow. Should have bet the cloud instead. Actually, yeah, why did I get rid of the star and not the cloud? It's such a dumb idea. Okay, this looks like a pretty decent hand here. Full house is yeah, like the the name Full House, the show. Or however the song goes. Always go, all, always go all in, you know. <laughs> Close enough. I love how the more you win, though, the more coins you're forced to bet. Okay, I got a two pair with Mayro and Linguini. But he beat me again because he had a star. Damn it. Fuck! <laughs> Do I have a- uh, yes, I have a gambling addiction. I said that at the start. <laughs> I don't actually, I just really like this game. I hate gambling. Yeah. If it's with Luigi, it's fine. 
because Luigi always knows how to make my day better. How do you think Luigi feels, though, knowing that he, uh, his brother is considered better than him in terms of the suits? Yeah, see, I don't play gacha games. That's what makes me a different breed. I don't play Genshin, I play Luigi's Casino. Because Luigi's Casino is life. How much you want to bet? That you're actually playing as Mario in your fight against Luigi. I don't know. Oh, he beat me again. Yeah, this just looks like a, a shitty hand, you know? Yeah, that's, that's not gonna win. That's like as bare bones as it gets. Yeah. If you think about it, one of the rarest hands to get is actually the one pair. Because he almost never gives you... He almost never has a one pair. <laughs> Anyways, I got four of a kind for the first time. Someday I will get a five of a kind. I wish I've never done in this game. But I would really love to do that. I would really love to see it. Happy Luigi. Damn it. I love how, like, Luigi just absorbs the coins into his neck. <laughs> it's pretty funny, honestly. Jesus Christ, Luigi, chill out. Yeah. Well, in my head, my goal was to get, um, 9,000 coins. I guess we'll see how possible that is. Funny bunny. Yeah, here. None of those are stars, but you know what? Two Luigi's is good enough. I remember how happy I was when I found out that this song was in Mario Sunshine originally. And I was like, holy shit, it's a Luigi Casino song. And I was very happy to hear it. <laughs> Well, I will admit the sunshine version sounds a lot different. It's a little, it's a little interesting compared to this version. Well, I literally just got the same cards back, dude. What the hell? I love the little uh -uh sound. It makes me try to get more, be a bit more coins. Yeah, get fucked, Luigi. So what's 16 times 5? I guess it would be 80, right? 80 would make sense. No. No, no. Now, this just looks terrible. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. But I'm hoping this week I can finally do the um, X-Bosses and Bowser's Insight Story. 
I calculated fast. And I also lost fast. Well, no, it's because 5 times 8 is, you know, 40. So, obviously, 8 times 2 is 16. So, obviously, 40 times 2 is 80. It makes sense. I'm slowly getting my moon knee back. Because Luigi keeps making me go bankrupt. You know, the first time I've had to hold. Good old Luigi, teaching kids to gamble since 2004. I will get 10 stars eventually. Not a big fan of this hand, honestly. The fact that I know any... The fact that I know anything about, um... Oh, The one time that screwed me over, dude. The fact that I know anything about poker... Well, actually, everything I know about poker is from this game. Luigi's the reason I know anything about poker. He taught me everything. Four of a kind, Luigi, you cheating bastard. 2004 had some good games, like Thousand Year Door. Thousand Year Door came out that year, and that's a good game. But everybody I talk to seems to... Everybody I talk to seems to say like, Oh, uh, Thousand Year Door's mid, or something. Whatever the hell Zappy keeps saying. Okay, bye Mario. I'm gonna see if I can save up enough for that Thousand Year Door remake, though. Because that shit would be really fun to play. Oh, I just got the same cars back, bro. Why does that keep happening? No, dude. Crisis released in 2004. Crisis? Like Crisis Core? Crisis Core didn't come out that year. Which Crisis? Oh, before Crisis, FF7. Yeah. What, Advent Children? Yeah. See, even though Luigi cheats in this game, we love him anyways. <laughs> we do not care that Luigi cheats at his own game. I mean, we really don't. We do care when that happens, though. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty impressed with how well I enjoyed, um, Infinite Craft. I was expecting to love it as much as I did, but... Yet I did anyways. Wow, I finally won the one pair. You get ten coins for that, it's like nothing. <laughs> it's something, though. That was garbage. Draw. That's a, I think that's the first time I've seen that happen. <laughs> How often do you see that happen? A fucking draw in this game. I can get a few games that released in 2004 other than Mario. Well... I'm not very good at that. Now that I think about it, a lot of games released in 2004, didn't they? Like, um... Uh, what's a good example? Didn't Superstar- Well, Superstar Saga released in 2003, I think. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. What's another good game that released in 2004? 
I'm not too sure. Probably some good PS2 game. Oh, did Metal Gear Solid 3 come out in 2004? Oh, man. Sacred Stones. Yeah, the one with Erica. We like Erica. Damn it, Linguini. Hello, chat member. You know, some weird shit happened to me earlier today. Um, one of, uh, Mateo's friends messaged me. Uh, well, you should probably know them, Konata. They messaged me, but I think it was their hacked alt, because they got hacked recently, and... Ooh, a full house. And I think that the person messaging me was, like, the hacker or something, and they said, like, hey, can you, like, review this game or something? Really odd request for a hacker, if I'll say so. So I just decided to ghost them and not say anything about it. Because that's how I go. Good job, bro. You've been following for a year and a month. Thirteen months. This minigame is fire. Oh, I was right about MGS3 releasing in, uh, 2004. Yeah, beat take that, Linguini. Uh, something about Luke scheduling a video. I'm not sure. Uh, he's always yapping about fucking his videos or whatever. <laughs> Junk hands are always good. There he goes. He's yapping again. You know, can I do the thing where I read aloud a message? Luke said it is nearly 2 a.m. LOL. That was really loud. Why did it do that? Is there a way I can lower the volume of that? <laughs> I really like Plants vs. Zombies. I've only really played Plants vs. Zombies 1, and I played a little bit of PvZ 2 on my phone. But other than that, I didn't really play, mu play it much. Like, I don't know. It's it probably just the microtransactions turn me off. Damn it, Linguini. Let me see what he says. Does this does this work if I if I read it aloud like this? Luke said I finally scheduled the video. Oh. Okay. The two bonus games are Peggle and Zuma. You have PVZ2 for Xbox. Or no, just PVZ. Why did I say PVZ2 for Xbox? The world would be a nicer place if PV PVZ2 wasn't locked to mobile. Digital Devil Saga released in 2004. I know, you do love your Digital Devil Saga. Take, take, take a drink. Get my juice. Oh, it's on PopCat Volume 1. I didn't know they had a volume. It's very interesting. Well, that's like the best possible luck. Except when it's not the best possible luck. Dude, Luigi cucked me again. He cucked me every time. There was a video in my feed that said like the best possible hand in picture poker. It's basically when you get five stars, but the odds of that happening are like super damn rare. Yeah, you're Mario. Damn it, I got Cloud. I knew that was coming, too. I'm getting robbed again. I'm only staying facts. Bejeweled 3. Hmm. 
I never got the bejeweled hype, honestly. Well, he kicked my ass again. Yeah. At this point, I might have to go and refill my juice. Yeah. It's almost that time. All right, Pokey, it's time. To be honest, I didn't really realize PopCap has so many games. I only really know them for PvZ. But we all know PvZ is a hood classic. Yeah. And I do mean a hood classic. Damn it. I don't really know any of their other games, though. I'm sure they're all fine and well. Yeah. Another thing I did today was I was testing, um... I was testing out a Mario Kart Wii menu single. Because I kind of wanted to start experimenting with more of the cosmetic side of MK Wii. Because I only really had, m like, music. Not really anything else. Yeah. So I said it was finally time to start messing around with that and wow he gave me a full house how lucky there's no way i can lose now i don't know it's kind of hard to find a good menu single like i don't really know where to get all the good ones at and plus the one that i downloaded i downloaded one but it broke uh the insane car we like menu the track selection oh i know about insane aquarium Nathaniel Bandy wouldn't shut up about that game. And I fucking lost. Because Luigi's a cheating bastard. Okay, that's a little better. Luigi is a cheating bastard. Okay, I tell you what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink. I need to get- I'm really- I'm really thirsty. Okay, I'm back. But yeah, apparently Insane Aquarium does have good music. Not that I have listened to it, though. But anyways, another thing I was going to talk about. A little drama related, I guess. But I figured I'd talk about it anyways. But, um... You guys know Chaga Conroy. Um... He recently released a statement on Twitter how he was talking about um, basically the situation with his channel and his health and stuff. Because we all we all miss Chaga Khan, right? We want, we want him to come back and, you know, do fun stuff again. But... He said that there might. He said that there might be a, a you know a probability that he might not even come back to his YouTube channel ever again, just because of all the trauma he's went through. Which, uh, you know, I understand that. It's, un it's really unfortunate. And um, a lot of like behind the scenes stuff on how like um, a lot of the shit that people said about him was like not true. Then again, that goes with anything regarding internet drama. You'll hear a rumor about someone, it'll blow up, it'll be completely wrong, and then and yet people will buy that as fact. If you think about it, the internet is no is no different than tabloids have been for the past, um, you know, something, something, 30, 40 years. Tabloids are all about gossip tabloids sometimes spread false rumors and that's exactly what the internet does the internet does the exact same thing that the tabloids have been doing they'll uh they'll make up some juicy rumors about people spread that shit in the, in the papers and then people will start believing that crap and that's the same thing that twitter does 
They spread crap about people that they don't even know a damn a damn first thing about. You know? And that's the annoying thing. I hate when that happens, man. Oh, I just barely won that. Yeah, I, I hate the internet because of that. Like they'll spread they'll spread all kinds of bullshit. It's like you know, so and so uh, talked to this person, and they, you know, did this to them. So and so. <laughs> and that's why I hate the internet. That's why I never use Twitter. Twitter is mid. Yeah, I think everybody knows that though. And if you use Twitter. Um, you're probably doing it the right way, and you're probably avoiding all the drama. That's all I gotta say. But yeah, it's just too bad that, um... Chad Conroy may never be in a state to come back to, um... Doing Let's Plays. Yeah, you can find art on Twitter. You can also find porn on Twitter. Twitter is like a grab bag of bullshit. It really is. Most of the time it's for drama. And politics. You know, I'm gonna give this a second try. I'm gonna see if I can get four of a kind cloud. Yes! Take that, Linguini. Now, now who's the one doing that? Who's the one doing the four of a kind now? <laughs> and trauma. Oh yeah, nobody likes trauma. The only trauma I like is trauma center. It's kind of noisy out, but I'm keeping it in because I want some fresh air and some cold in my room. feeding me. You're feeding me these shrooms. And Mario and Luigi. How come we can't get a new Mario and Luigi, eh? Oh, I just said A. I'm like a Canadian now. Okay. Um. Get rid of that. Well, I am a Canadian. That's the joke. <laughs> Linguini. Queenie, I thought you were my side, man. My side, man. <laughs> one of my favorite one of my favorite things to say is instead of saying man, I say mang. <laughs> it's like what's up, mang? You know? <laughs> Got a four of a kind again. They're not so rare after all. Linguini, Lorgadi's my fucking wife. And he gave me a bad hand after all the good ones to be giving me. Actually, I won! Surprise, surprise. In case everybody's wondering, um, my Mario Bros. X level's kinda on hiatus right now. I haven't really been in the mood to work on it since I've been doing Toho, and, and now I guess I'm doing this for whatever reason. <laughs> it's really goofy. Like, I have this stupid idea in the shower, you know what? Instead of saying, uh, like, honestly, one thing I should start doing is I should start embracing my stupid ideas because that's where all the good, you know, comedy and entertainment come from. It's always my stupid ideas that end up being the best ones. If you, as you guys have seen, based on my Mario 64 DS Wario only run, the Mario 64 DS Wario only run is it's just a stupid idea I had, and yet it became one of my most viewed series. Fire Emblem during the 35th anniversary, or 34th, I somehow won. Yeah. But yeah, like, for real, I, uh, I don't know. Am I gonna win this one? The answer's no. Because yeah. Luigi cheats again. Look that, though, guys, we made it to 1,000 coins already. 
Mm, I lost my train of thought. I was talking about something. Yeah. I was talking about Mario Bros. X level. Yeah. Oh yeah, right. I was talking about how um how I, I how my stupid ideas. I always turn my stupid ideas into series. Unless I got a really bad hand again. Thanks, Luigi. Tommy's not my kind of genre. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's not the point I was trying to make, but okay. Either way, I thought of an I, I thought of an idea in the shower, and I said, you know, instead of rejecting that idea and saying it's dumb, yeah. I'm going to embrace it and try it out, and it ended up being great. This is like, you know, this is one of those tea time series where I don't have to think when I play the game. I just play it and talk about dumb shit the entire time. Which is exactly what I like to see. <laughs> because I was in the mood for Luigi's dumb little casino game. And I ended up deciding to roll with it. I did mention comedy. Because it's like a comedy routine, you know? Thanks, Linguini. You're the best. Uh, anything going on? Um, I think I invited somebody new to the server. Well, oh yeah, that's right, I was gonna talk about something. So, earlier today, Matteo so told me to come hang out in his server. And I ended up going to a server to hang out in VC. And I was like, sure, like, why would you want me to hang out in VC? And as it turns out, you know, we ended up going there, we ended up chatting, and it ended up being pretty damn fun. Because basically, um... Well, for one, Matteo sent me a face reveal. That's new. He, he looks like he has a fucking Pringles mustache. <laughs> it's, it's really funny. And then, um, I also got to meet a bunch of his other friends. Which was also great. And Luigi's a cheating bastard again. But yeah, I, I swear, I was in that VC for like a couple hours. Just because it was uh, nice getting to know his friends. And eh, we had some serious conversations. We had some funny ones. We talked about games. Uh, I won't go too into detail, especially because some of them are, you know, kind of uh, not safe for work, I guess we'll just say. Not safe for Twitch slash YouTube, <laughs> I guess you could put it. But it was interesting learning about everybody. I might even invite them to Gonzitos because they seem like cool people. Now, I don't know how true it is, but maybe it's true that you can never have too many friends. Well, the hard thing about having more... The more friends you have, the harder it is to balance all of them out. That's the difficult part. Because I already struggle with that as is. Imagine having even more friends on top of that. Like, I could just imagine... Like, I mean, it's, it's at the point where, like, pretty much every day, I end up doing something with a friend. Basic, pretty much, really. I am like, you know... Oh yeah, that's right, Sunday today, they're kind of recording. I think, I'm gonna ask, uh... I'm gonna ask Jordan what day he wants to do Secret of Mono. <laughs> even I have so many, even when I have so many friends, I get ghosted. Well, yeah, ghosting can happen, but if you get ghosted, then are they really your friend? That's really what I- that's what I want to say, you know? Just like I keep thinking about Tim and John, you know? I think about Tim and John every now and then, and I realize, like, 
They don't really talk to me much, and when I try to send messages to them, they don't get back to me. Sometimes it's hard to tell if people are, um, ghosting you, or if they're just really, really busy and they don't have time to, you know, talk. It's never easy to tell something like that. That's why I tend to give people the benefit of the doubt. It's like, maybe they're just busy. Maybe I am overthinking it, you know? <laughs> so they swag me every now and then. Yeah, exactly. People can be busy. That's normal. I'm just, it's just so happens that I'm not very busy, you know? I mean, I don't want to be busy. Well, I, I, I want to be busy, but I also don't want to be busy, because I hate getting overwhelmed. Yeah. And Luigi sucks. Like, from what I've been told about Tim and John, you know, they got university to deal with. University's very busy, obviously. So, like, that's a good enough reason why they wouldn't be messaging me much. I love how he just says draw, and he's like, hmm, yeah, I guess we drew, anyway. It's like the worst possible hand you can get is when that happens. <laughs> Even if you get ghosted, you still think of those friends. Hmm. I'm not sure what that means. I'm not sure if that means you're, like, gaslighting yourself into thinking they're your friends, or what. But either way, friends are kind of complicated, and they always will be. Someone who you think is your friend could easily turn toxic and betray you. However, on the other side, um, you know, someone who you don't talk to a lot could be your friend with a lot for life, you know? You could never- you could have someone who talks to you for me like 10 minutes every day. That's still considered a friendship, if you ask me. Yeah. It's more about the longevity than anything. I guess naive wouldn't be a bad way to put it. If you ask me, longevity is very important for a friendship. If a friendship's gonna last a really long time, perhaps even for life, that's the kind of friendship I like to see. Like, I mean, good examples are, you know, Dominic and Jose. I've known Dominic and Jose for past four to five years. It's probably my longest friendships next to Jordan and, and Desmond. Jordan and Desmond I've known since, uh, ninth grade, I want to say. Yeah, grade nine, grade nine. That's probably my longest running friendship that I still have contact with. Six years soon, yeah. Uh, how old was I when I was in grade nine? I was probably like 14, 15. So, yeah. Known them for quite a while, really. It's not a bad pair. And the more you know, friends, the more you'll learn about them. And all that good stuff. Come on, Linguini. Damn it, Linguini. Oh, that you beat my ass. Yeah. Gonzito's asking what happened in his server. Hmm, did something happen in the server? Give me a sec, I'm going to investigate this. Okay, so we kind of have some bad news on our hands. Um, I guess I'll go over that. Uh, so, I think Eren got hacked. Which is not good. So, apparently there's there, there's most likely a hacker in Gonzitos now. But he's not, like, hacking the server itself. He's hacking, like, other people's accounts. So, I'm just gonna say, uh, anybody who's watching this, don't click on any suspicious links you see in DMs. Because... They're- the, the way that people hack these days, they kinda like... 
they're able to like fish out your information and hack your account. I mean, that should go without saying, but yeah. Yeah. I think Seb is okay though. He he doesn't seem to be responding anything sus to me. The last thing Aaron sent me was last night a Bayonetta mod for Smash Bros. But apparently, apparently Goncito just told me that one of one of his friends got hacked, which is not good. Let me see what uh, let me see what he just said in um, let me just see what he said in the server. Okay. Where did he where did he send it? Announcements. Yeah, it says do let me, actually you know what? I'll have I'll have it read it out. Ganzato said at everyone do not click on the link by Green Bean 501. It is a link where you can get your ACC hacked. So please have caution and do not reply to him or do anything. That is still really loud, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, so that's really bad. We, I'm hoping nobody else gets hacked. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, because uh, the hacker came from uh, Konata. Like, Konata got hacked. And I think now Aaron got hacked somehow. And, yeah. It's really bad. <laughs> it's really, really bad. Yeah, yeah this situation isn't good. I might have to end the reporting earlier today, because it's a little too serious to be playing Luigi over. But I want to do this again. I really do. Um, I want to do this again in the future, and hopefully it'll be during a much better time. So, more Luigi's uh, Casino coming up at some point. Sorry about the problems. We'll get them sorted out. Okay, I'll see everybody then.